What's up everyone? It is great to see you all again back on my channel. I hope you all have a great week so far. Today, I would like to share with you my secret on transforming my waist size from 36 down to 30. This is a question many of you have asked me offline since I posted in my first workout video a couple weeks back. I am not where I want to be yet, but looking back, I have transformed significantly compared to two years ago when I decided to start my journey to be my better self. Today, I'm going to share with you what have worked for me and hopefully you will find this helpful and you will be motivated to accomplish your goals. My strategy will not work just for weight loss. It will also work for better personal finance, trying to learn a new skill, or any, any goals that you want to accomplish. All right, enough said. Let's get to this topic. Three, two, one, go. I think everybody know how to lose weight and how to be healthier. But why you would see many people who started a plan but gave up halfway and just go back to the old self. I think what's hindering us from achieving our goal is our ability to recreate habit. In the past two years, I have focused on five points to be where I am now. And the five points are, one, in this for the long game. Two, review your current lifestyle. Three, formulating a game plan. Four, review your game plan periodically. Five, work hard, play hard. I won't be going into all the details to each point today. I will make more in-depth video down the road in the future. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned. The first focus point I tell myself constantly is, I am in this for the long game. This is something that I tell myself constantly because we are trained by our society to have that instant gratification. We want to see that instant results. Everything we deal with now is pretty much instant. We have lost one of our greatest attributes as human beings, which is patience. We are where we are. It's because of the long-term decisions we have made throughout the years. So focus on creating a long lasting habit change that is sustainable rather than having a drastic change that you get results right away but you go back to your old self once you have finished that treatment or process and that is just catastrophic the second point is to review your current lifestyle what i did was to identify everything i did and all the activity i do throughout the days and i will rank them from the importance uh, from zero to five i usually do this on excel sheets five being the most important and zero being the least important. After you have done this exercise, you can simply identify what are the things that is the most important and what are the things that is not important. After you have pinpointed the priorities in your life, you can start restructuring them. This is super important because without knowing your priorities and what's going on with your days, you won't be able to enhance your lifestyle. The third point is to formulating a game plan that is based on knowledge and based on a progression that is not overwhelming or daunting to you. To you, and it doesn't matter what others are saying. Our focus is to create habits, not just results. The result will come once you actually have a good habit. There will be people tell you that you're not doing this enough. You're doing way too much of this. Well, guess what? You are accountable to your own action. Ignore all those voices. They all meant well, but stick to your plan. Those game plan for me includes eating plan, an exercise plan, and a lifestyle plan. I'll give you a very quick example of my plan. In the beginning of my journey, my eating plan was pack my own lunch three times a week rather than eating out. My exercise plan is simply jog or walk 20 minutes twice a week. And my lifestyle plan was sleep one hour earlier on weekdays. As you may notice, the three plans that I formulated are super easy and super accomplishable. Now that leads us to our fourth focus point, which is revisiting the game plans periodically. Most of us have habits and most of the habits are created in a cycle and I call this the habit cycle. In the habit cycle, there are three stages. Number one is the introduction stage. Number two, adoption stage. And number three is the normalization stage. What does this mean? This means that every time there's a new things happen in our life or we're trying to recreate our habits, we all go through these different phases. Our brains, which send us a shock that we're trying to uh, cope with the situation that is happening around us. And eventually we become used to it and then it become normalized again. One of the example is with the COVID-19 lockdown. Many of us are staying at home now. And this is a total shock to us because we are not used to be at home all the time. With this shock, this is just like an introduction stage. Now, once after a couple of weeks that many of us are start navigating through the days trying to find a new norm, this process, this stage is what I call the adoption stage. The first two stages of the cycle are more noticeable to us humans. Back to my original game plan. I need to pack three lunch out of a week. I need to walk or jog 20 minutes twice a week 
and sleep an hour early. Now, this may sound simple, but it took me about a month to actually turn this into a, a normalization stage or an autopilot stage where I don't need to think about it and it just happened. Once you are on an autopilot mode where you don't need to think about it and you just, all that action just happened naturally, then congratulations, pat yourself on the back, celebrate and start formulating a new plan. My last focus is work hard, play hard. You are changing your habit. You are recreating your autopilot programming. This is taxing. You are deliberately reprogramming your underlying programs. So this is super, super hard and it takes a tremendous amount of mental strength. This is when you give in a little in a very controlled way to your guilty pleasures. This is important because this prevents you from going crazy. You structure a specific time and a specific environment for you to just indulge and relax. My guilty pleasure is to go to McDonald's on a Friday night to celebrate my, my wins and whatever I have accomplished in that week. Ah, Big Mac meal, Coke Zero, no ice, 10 piece nuggets and sweet and sour sauce. Human brains are constantly looking for pleasure. They try to stay away from pain. So that means if you force yourself to be in a workout plan or diet plan, a workout regimen that is not suitable for your current level at that time, once you're out of it, your brain are just gonna look for something to compensate the pain that you went through. Which means the more extreme the change, usually the more extreme of a bounce back there will be. All right guys, those are my five focus points that I focus on on my journey to transform my waist size from 36 down to 30 on a very high level view. I will go deeper into each focus point and provide some action plan for you in the future video. So make sure you stay tuned. Once again, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and turn on that notification bell. Leave a comment down below to leave your thoughts and comments with today's topic. Let me know what would you like to see in the future videos. Lastly, one of my personal 2020 goal is to be more comfortable on public speaking and speaking in front of camera. And that's why in time like this, I am pushing myself to create videos. I thank my friends and family who have watched the video and witnessing me on this journey to become a better self. All right guys, until next time, peace.